Secret is back. On the map! And a new set of contestants will try to do what's never been done before. I didn't come here for chump change. Win one million dollars. That is craziness. But in order to do so, they'll have to defeat the mob. We've got a massive new set and an all-new money ladder that'll have contestants taking risks like never before. Knock them down! Knock them down! And remember, one wrong answer and you go home with nothing. Just tell me if it's right or wrong, Mr. Bob Saget. And the mob will take home the cash. Tonight, it's the battle of the sexes as one woman takes on a hundred men. I'm gonna take on the dude. And one man takes on a hundred women. And before the night is done, someone's life will be changed forever. Who will reign supreme in the battle of the sexes? Tonight, on one versus 100. special episode tonight. We have a new and improved set. <laughs> and we have a new and improved game. And tonight, we're going to see who will reign supreme, men or women. It's a battle of the sexes tonight. One versus 100. First, we're going to have one woman take on a mob of all men. And then one man will face a mob filled with women who are after his money. You don't see that much. <laughs> Mob, what do you think about that? <laughs> Let's meet the woman brave enough to face all this testosterone. Please welcome from Elmira, New York, Katherine Kozorla. They're so off. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm excited. A lot of dudes out there. A lot of dudes. <laughs> a lot of men. Look at them. I know. Some of them have never been this close to a woman. <laughs> well, you know how this works, right, Catherine? Yes. All right. Either you are going to win, or they are going to win. Yeah. Look at this. This is our new and improved prize ladder. It's very exciting. These are the 10 levels you can go to on your way to the million dollars. For every 10 mob members you eliminate, you move up to the next money level. You knock out 10 people, you get $1,000. You move up another 10, 5,000, then 10,000, all the way up to $1 million. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say, and it's not just because I'm dressed like the clergy. <laughs> if you get just one answer wrong, you will leave with nothing, and the remaining members of the mob will split your money! give you three helps along the way. Are you ready? I'm ready. Mob, are you ready? Yeah! It's one versus 100! Yeah! Here's the first one. Yeah, and Burn are songs by what Grammy-winning R&B singer? Groom, best man, usher. Mob, please answer now. <laughs> All right. I absolutely love him. So I'm going to go with C. Usher. Okay, let's see if she's right. The correct answer is... C. It's Usher. Let's find out how many members of the mob got that wrong. All right, five people got that wrong. You have no money yet. It's one versus 95. Here's your next question. By definition, what would a hemophobic refuse to suck? Lollipops, blood, helium. Manly Mob, please answer now. Okay. Well, I'm thinking hematoma is like a, some kind of bruise. So I'm gonna go with B, blood. I hope. Let's find out if you're correct. The correct answer is? It's blood. Let's find out how many men got that wrong. Aha. Uh -huh. One. Ow. You are four mob members away from $1,000. <laughs> We're going to keep going. It's one versus 94. Yeah. Here's your next question. 
Hi, I'm Barry Williams, Greg from the Brady Bunch. In the episode titled, The Subject Was Noses, who gets smacked in the nose with a football? A, Cindy, B, Jan, or C, Marsha? Bob, please answer now. So which of those three do you think it is? Uh, I'm going to go with Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Wow. Okay. You locked it right in. The correct answer is... Marsha. <laughs> now let's see how many people got that wrong. There you go. Yes. For you at home, it's time to play Mob Money and have a chance to win $10,000. We asked a mob of 100 people what color is at the bottom of a traffic light. Can you guess how many people got that question wrong? Is it A, 19, B, 49, or C, 79? Just use your cell phone and send a text to 29292 with the correct letter. For example, if you think 79 people did not know the color at the bottom of a traffic light, send a text to 29292 with the letter C. Valid only in the United States and D.C., excluding Alaska, Georgia, Hawaii, Minnesota, North Dakota, Louisiana. $1 premium charge per text entry. Play for free at NBC.com slash 1 versus 100. You can vote up to 10 times. Good luck. All new deal flashback. Disco. Deal or no deal. Dig this groovy 70s happening, man. Whoa. Then. Hello, 80. Two totally radical 80s superstars. Flashback. Two hours. Two decades. All, All new. new. Deal or no deal. Sunday, 7, 6 central on NBC. earlier, but during the break, you told me that you'd like to be called Katie. Yeah, that's my nickname. Then I will be calling you Katie because I have to make you comfortable because you're in front of a hundred male mob men. <laughs> You've knocked out 23 of them. Let's keep going. It's one versus 77. Cy <laughs> Sperling founded what famous club? All England Tennis Club? Studio 54? Hair club for men. Men mob, please answer now. Okay, what are you thinking? I know it's not Studio 54, and I'm not sure about the tennis club. I'm really thinking it's gonna be the hair club for men. You have three helps. I know, I know. Um, gosh, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna have to use one of my helps, I am. All right, you can ask the mob, you can trust the mob, or you can pull the mob. I am going to pull the mob. All right, you're going to tell me the answer you want to know more about, and I'm going to show you how many members in the mob chose that answer, OK? OK. Which of those three would you like to know more about? I would like to know more about C. Let's see how many people chose C, the hair club for men. Interesting. It is 44 out of 77 people. Okay, um, I'm just seeing all the guys that got it right. How many are... What Have hair? Follicular, <laughs> follicularly challenged. I already saw it shining off the lights. Uh, I'm <laughs> Oh, boy. I feel like it's, it's C. Hair club for men. I'm locking it in. The correct answer is... It's C! <laughs> you have to knock out another seven people to jump to ten grand. Let's find out how many people got that wrong. Three men. Wow. Congratulations. Okay. 
is a huge one, $50,000. Okay. You oh are four God. people away of jumping to $75,000. You're closing in on the million dollars. And, and, and <laughs> I am curious, you took this on. What yeah. made you think that you could take on all of these guys? I just feel like, you know, I grew up in a family with uh, two older brothers as well. So I feel like I can hold my own. And Well, so... they've been, a lot of them have been holding their own for many years. I... <laughs> <laughs> All right, wow. I have to ask you this. You got $50,000. You can actually take that money with you right now. Do you want the money or do you want the mob? Prime number is in the title of which movie? Scary Movie 4, Ocean's 11, Police Academy 6, City Under Siege. Mob, please answer now. What are you thinking? Oh, gosh, prime number. I feel like a prime, oh my god. This is like second grade and I can't remember. Um, prime number six and four is something that can be multiplied twice, I think, like two times two is, is four. Three plus three is six, but nothing doubled is 11. Um, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna use the help. <laughs> yeah, on that note. All right. You can ask the mob or you can trust the mob. Um, I guess I'm just gonna have to ask the mob. All right, so asking the mob, we're gonna show you two people up there chosen at random. Yeah. One of them's gonna have the right answer, one of them's gonna have the wrong answer, and you're gonna get to talk to both of them, okay? Okay. Let's see who they are. All right, hello, number 34. How are you? Great. And uh, which of these did you choose? B. And why did you do that, sir? Going back, I remember a series just kind of came into my head, and I, I think that's correct. Got it. Thank you for your answer. And I have another person lit up. Uh, number 60, which of these did you choose, sir? I chose A. Why is that? Well, um, the lowest prime number being two. Come on, Blondie. Whoa. Whoa. It's the battle of the sexes, not the sex is. Yeah. All right. Now, here's some good news for you. We know for a fact that it's not C, Police Academy 6, Sydney Under Siege. That is ruled out. What would you like to do? Still, it's, I don't know. It's like I'm still confused because four and six seem the same to me. People are screaming right now. No, no, no one's really doing anything. But on the inside, they are. I, I mean, I really feel like a, you know what? Maybe I should go with A. Uh, but God, I'd hate to take advice from, you know, him. Um, <laughs> gosh. A, a prime number. Okay, yeah, A. Yeah, A. Oh my God. The question is a prime number is in the title of which movie? And you guessed and went with Scary Movie 4. Oh. The correct answer is. Oh, I feel ill. Oh my God. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? Let's find out how many people are going to split your $50,000. Five men got that wrong. That means 39 guys are splitting $50,000. That means the men have won the first round of the Battle of the Sexes. Can you stick around? Yes! Uh, you're going to want to, because when we come back, the Battle of the Sexes continues. There's still time to play mob money and have a chance to win $10,000. We asked a mob of 100 people what color is at the bottom of a traffic light. Can you guess how many people got that wrong? Just use your cell phone and send a text to 29292 with the correct letter. You can vote up to 10 times. Play for free at NBC.com slash 1 versus 100. Good luck. Ultimately lost.
cost fifty thousand dollars to the mob, but now it's time to see if a man can do any better against a mob of one hundred women. Let's bring him out from San Diego, California. Please welcome Jason Luna. Closer than this uh, hormonal fever. Um, Jason, how are you doing? I'm doing great. And uh, could I ask, how old are you, sir? I am 21 years of age. <laughs> he, is, he is of age. And do you have a, a girlfriend or anything? I'm very single at the moment. I have nothing going on. Maybe my luck will change. Who knows? Your luck could change, <laughs> but you can't really fraternize with the mob. Mob, are you intimidated? <laughs> Have you ever had a girlfriend? No. I have not had a girlfriend. I've never had a girlfriend. That, that's true? That is true. I've never, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a loser, some would say. No. <laughs> that's a smart oh, pity, move. Pity, what you pity. just did is very, very smart. Psychologically, <laughs> you've messed with them. Yes. Are you ready? I am ready. Mob, are you ready? Please, ladies, calm down. There's only one of me and one of him. <laughs> In 2007, Senator Larry Craig said his wide stance was the reason he was arrested where? A bedroom, a bathroom, a barn. Ladies of the mob, please answer now. Okay. This is a big story when it happened. Uh, the Senate asked him to resign. Uh, he was apparently soliciting, and um, he was in a bathroom stall, so I'm going to lock that answer in. Jason said a bathroom. The correct answer is... It's a bathroom. Okay, let's see how many members of this female mob got that incorrect. Six women got that wrong. You are four people away from $1,000. One versus 94. All right, Jason. Yes. For your next question, first, take a look at this. Hi, I'm Dawn Wells from Gilligan's Island. What small fish shares its name with a tiny boat that I was shipwrecked on on Gilligan's Island? Hmm? A, Gubby. B, Minnow. C, Scrod. Mob, please answer now. Hey, Jason. Well, I've watched a lot of this show. I'm not exactly sure why. But um, right on the boat at the beginning, you can see it every time you watch it. It is the SS Minnow. Uh -huh. I'm locking that in. Yes. <laughs> Just hoping it's Minnow. The correct answer is... Four people to start your first winnings at $1,000. Let's find out how many people just got eliminated. Yes. You just knocked out six women. There you go. You are at $1,000, and you are eight women away from $5,000. So far, Jason's doing well with the ladies. He has $1,000. Will he make it all the way to the million? There's still time to play mob money and have a chance to win $10,000. We asked a mob of 100 people what color is at the bottom of a traffic light. Can you guess how many people got that question wrong? Is it A, 19, B, 49, or C, 79? Just use your cell phone and send a text to 29292 with the correct letter. For example, if you think 79 people did not know the color at the bottom of a traffic light, send a text to 29292 with the letter C. Valid only in the United States and D.C., excluding Alaska, Georgia, Hawaii, Minnesota, North Dakota, Louisiana. $1 premium charge per text entry. Play for free at NBC.com slash 1 versus 100. You can vote up to 10 times. Good luck.
You don't have a girlfriend. No, not at all. And you haven't used any helps. What would you do if you want a million bucks here? I suppose I'd try buying a girlfriend if that's possible. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> all right, it's one versus 88. Which company is represented by a spokes gecko? Petco, Costco, Geico. Ladies of the mob, please answer now. All right, Jason, you know which company is represented by a spokes gecko? Well, it's really hard not to when the commercials are on, like, 24-7. Uh, I guess they started doing this because it's a pun on the name, so it's the Geico Gecko, and what a fun pun that is. I'm locking that in. <laughs> He's hoping and saying it's C. Geico, the correct answer is... All right, you're at a grand. You need to knock out eight more people to go to $5,000. Let's see how many people got that wrong. One woman got that wrong. It's one versus 87. Here's your next question. In the Olympic Games, which is an official weightlifting event? The clean and jerk, the grab and thrust, the rub and tug. <laughs> Female mob, please answer now. Now, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> what happens at one versus 100 stays at one versus 100. Yeah, let's get it Which of those three are you thinking about? Well, to be honest, um... When the Olympics come around, I'm, I always intend to watch everything, but there's like 6,000 events, so it's really hard to keep track, and I, I'm not really familiar with the weightlifting, so I'm gonna have to use the help. Okay, he's gonna ask for help. You can ask the mob, you can trust the mob, or you can pull the mob. I think I'm gonna, since um, I, I'm, I'm vague on any of the choices, really, I mean, it's by not, because I have no knowledge, I'm gonna try asking the mob and see what that gets me. Okay, you're going to ask the mob. We are going to randomly select two people out of the mob. One of them has the right answer, and one of them has the wrong answer, and you're gonna get to speak to both of them, okay? All Let's right. see who they are. Number 95, which of these three did you select? A, the clean and jerk. Say it one more time for me. The clean and jerk. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Now say it as low as you can. No, the clean and jerk. No, I apologize. Why did you uh, say that? The clean and jerk I chose because that was my gut. <laughs> All right, and now, hello, number 37. Which of these three did you choose? I chose B, the grab and thrust. You chose the grab and thrust. Please calm down. <laughs> and why did you choose that? They all sounded really sexual, and that sounded the least sexual. <laughs> It's one thing to be on one versus 100, but this is kind of a fantasy for you, isn't it? Yeah, really. I'm thinking. Well, what you know right now, right. you have two answers. We know that it's not C, the rub and tug. What do you think? Well, um, to be honest, the rub and tug was probably the one I eliminated most quickly. And it's really a toss up for me between. It's a toss up. Between. <laughs> yeah, really, it is. You do have two helps left. Right. I, I really think I'm going to have to go to another help. I don't want get, to get out this early. Uh. Wow. All right, Jason needs more help. We're going to get him more help. Evolution has come. This is your last chance to play Mob Money for your chance to win $10,000. We asked a mob of 100 people what color is at the bottom of a traffic light. Can you guess how many people got that wrong? Just use your cell phone and send a text to 29292 with the correct letter. You can vote up to 10 times. Play for free at NBC.com slash 1 versus 100. So far, Jason, you've only knocked out 13 women, and you're stuck on the weightlifting question right now. You had two choices when you asked the mob, and now you've decided to use one more help. Yes. You can trust the mob, or you can pull the mob. I think I want to try pulling the mob. Okay. All right, Jason. You tell me which one of those you want to know more about, and I'm going to show you how many people chose that answer. 
All right, um, kind of been leading towards the grab and thrust, so I want to see how many people answered B. How many women chose B, the grab and thrust? 33 of the 87. All right, uh, simple uh, majority math tells me that the clean and jerk seems like a good consensus. So I'm going to play the game and lock in a clean and jerk. He's hoping the answer is A, the clean and jerk. The correct answer is... All right, you're seven people away from $5,000. Let's find out how many women have just been eliminated. You have one help left. You're 44 women away from $1 million. Jason, I'm asking you, sir. Yes. Do you want the money, or do you want the women mob? <laughs> do you want to risk it all, Jason, by going one more question? The familiar border on the front cover of National Geographic magazine is what color? Red, blue, yellow. Ladies, please answer now. Jason, what are you uh, thinking here? I've read the magazine a lot. I read, uh, as a child. I really haven't read it recently. Ah. So I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident it's a yellow cover, so I'm gonna lock that in. All right. He's hoping it's C, yellow. The correct answer is... It's yellow! Congratulations. Let's find out how many people got that wrong. Oh. <laughs> two. You are two women away from $75,000. Yes. You have one out left. Do you want the money, or do you want the mob? This one versus 42. Here's your next question. There's always room for liquor. Which of these is currently a flavor of Jell-O brand gelatin? Margarita, mojito, or martini? Ladies of the mob, please answer now. Yes. Do you eat Jello? On occasion, I've never eaten any uh, alcohol-based Jellos. I mean, if, if I had known, I probably would have eaten them. They sound delicious. <laughs> what are your instincts? Well, martinis. I can't imagine that being a really like solid Jello flavor. Uh, mojito. I'm not really quite sure what that tastes like. I guess it's kind of a. I never had one really. You know, it's my like, to-do list on alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine some tropical flavor. Margarita has a really distinct flavor. So that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. But wow, I've never, never heard of any of these like being on shelves or anything, you know? <sighs> Should I just go with my instinct? Uh, you know, it sounds like a good flavor. I'm just going to go with margarita and lose and get it over with. Hey, walking it in. <laughs> You basically just took a jello shot, is what you did. Basically. Jason is hoping the answer is A, margarita. And the correct answer is. Get in, Lou. Margarita flavored jello has no alcohol. <laughs> Let's find out. How many women got that wrong? Really?
quarter of a million dollars. Will Jason risk it and put that money on the line? We'll find out right after this. The mob money game is now over. 19 people did not know that green is the color at the bottom of a traffic light. If you picked A19, then you have a chance to win tonight's $10,000. Stay tuned. The winner will be announced in just a few minutes. Jason, you have $100,000. That is twice as much money as Katie got to. Sorry to bring it up. <laughs> you are 24 women away from $1 million. You have one help left, and I have one question for you. Do you want the money, or do you want the money? What country's national anthem has its own name in the title? The United States, Canada, the United Kingdom. Ladies of the mob, please answer now. Okay, Jason. I'm uh, actually fairly confident on this one. Uh, I know the United States, Star Spangled Banner, of course. Uh, United Kingdom, something like God Save the Queen. And of course, everyone's favorite national anthem, Oh Canada. <laughs> Jason, a lot is riding on this. You are currently at $100,000. Jason was confident that the answer is B, Canada. The correct answer is... Answer that incorrectly, you will jump to a quarter of a million dollars. Let's find out how many ladies got that wrong. Uh, you knocked out one woman. You are now three women away from a quarter of a million dollars. You have one help left. Do you want the money or do you want the mob? In the 2008 election, which celebrity is eligible to be elected president of the United States? Liam Neeson, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Viggo Mortensen. Mob, please answer now. Feeling a little pressure? Yeah, a little bit. I'm um, a little uncertain. I, I think I might have it, but I'm just thinking, like, I know Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's uh, Austrian all the way, so uh, he's not a naturalized citizen. And Liam Neeson, um, he has that, uh, like, a thick Scottish brogue going for him. Viggo Mortensen, the name, the name kind of throws me off, uh, but he has, like, the most natural American accent out of the three of them, so that's just uh, an American upbringing to me. So I'm just going to go for it and lock in C, Viggo Mortensen. Wow. You realize if you're incorrect, the surviving members of the mob these ladies would split $100,000. The correct answer is... Yeah! You must be born in the United States. You are three women away from a quarter of a million dollars. <laughs> Let's find out. How many women got that wrong? million dollars. Right. 15 away from one million dollars. Now, 
You got one help left. Right, right. I do. That's to trust the mob. Uh-huh. You now could leave with $250,000. Wow. According to Hallmark, what is the biggest card-giving holiday of the year? Christmas? Mother's Day? Valentine's Day? Ladies of the mob, please answer now. Do you give cards to people? I do. For the major holidays, I tend to give a card when I can. Um, well, I'm kind of leaning towards eliminating Valentine's Day just because uh, some people who aren't in a relationship, like myself, sob, sob, uh, <laughs> might, uh, wouldn't necessarily give out a, a card on Valentine's Day. It's a popular card holiday, I'm sure, but I don't think it's number one. <sighs> Christmas seems like the go-to. It's Mother's Day. It's, an it's another holiday where it's, it's widely celebrated. But then... Uh, and then not everyone celebrates Christmas either, so this is not like a like a lock, like you know something every, everyone has to celebrate or anything. Wow, Christmas season is such a big thing. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna go with my 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 gut reaction and. You have one. <laughs> <laughs> you have a help left. Right, right. Uh... <laughs> All right. Christmas. <laughs> You know, I just have to tell you, there's got to be some lady out there for you because you've got guts of steel. Or... <laughs> <laughs> you just... yeah. You know what, Jason? Just for shiggles, before we find out the correct answer, let's find out how many people got this wrong. Christmas along with me, they're clearly wrong, so that means I'm clearly wrong. And I, I imagine someone was thinking along the same lines I was, so now I'm really nervous about this. It's a million dollars right now. And it all comes down. to Christmas. If you're right, if you're right, you have a million dollars. If you're not right, you walk away with nothing. <sighs> but maybe some phone numbers, because you've been very charming. <laughs> All right. According to Hallmark, what is the biggest card-giving holiday of the year? Jason said, A, Christmas. The correct answer is...
feel? How are you feeling? I came in, I, I don't think it's really hit me yet. I, I, I was, I was really doubtful on the question and um, I was expecting it to go something else and I just, it's, I don't, I've never seen that much money, you know, ever. And uh, <laughs> now I'm going to, I guess. Wow. Wow. Now, <laughs> do you think this maybe will give you the confidence to go out and maybe, maybe meet someone, maybe date, maybe go on a date? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm very happy for you. Tonight, an amazing thing happened. Congratulations to tonight's $10,000 Mob Money winner. One man just beat a mob of 100 women for $1 million. Next Friday is all new. One versus 100. And it might happen again. Go, go, go. Two new players and a new mob that wants your money. The all new One versus 100. Next Friday, 8, 7 central on NBC. A legendary breed of warrior is back. American Gladiators. Tonight premiere event starts Sunday night, 8 central on NBC. Battle of the Sexes. We just saw one woman take on 100 men. She ultimately lost $50,000.